rain that was predicted and it gets pretty dark and then this happens after 0.3 millimeters it just opens up in this blue sky sunburn 2023 is moving we have a lot to do there's a lot on the list that needs to be done my to-do list contains things that will push us closer closer to self-sufficiency self-reliance is a self-development thing that needs to happen up here as well yes it involves more improvement on water more harvesting of natural water sources like the rain getting the food gardens to a point where they can start producing uh, maybe first perennials and then later annuals uh, we're going to be looking at hydroponics which we already have inside but larger scale hydroponics aquaponics I'm going to be doing videos on that for sure because I want to see what that stuff is going to do in a climate like this we are at the point of deciding whether we're going to sell all the sheep and uh, replace them with uh, boer bok, boer goat healthier, healthier meat uh, easier to work with we have an affinity for goats we have been working with goats for many years the sheep have a heavy footprint on the felt and they kind of harvest and mine out the whole area so it's not what we want to do with this piece we want to conserve and regenerate and uh, yeah they don't really fit in with that they're quite expensive supplementary feed is expensive they're fragile compared to bok to the goats so yes uh, we'll see how that goes but that's also going to be in the videos we do have a new tank there that's something we're going to be putting up it's gonna to have to go up to the hill and provide a bit of a buffer zone I've always wanted to plant a tree without doing any effort and that's not really possible because either you need to put money into something or if you can't put money into it you need to convert it into time and labor when you put a tree down in, a, in one of those plastic bags that you buy from a nursery and you forget it forget about it and you just leave it there it'll eventually punch through the bag and it'll eventually get through the ground and in a couple of months you want to grab that tree and you want to go plant it and you can't lift it up because the roots have settled right in there and i know this works um, i've made that mistake many times before especially with the thorn trees the acacias and i didn't think that this would work here until we noticed that the hail bourbon tree that we planted on top of the ground in a tire actually did shoot its roots right through the rocks and that made me think this is perhaps one way to do this and save a lot of effort. Mm -hmm. 